All right, we're rolling. One, two, three. Hi, this is Jason Sumner with VeloNews Television, and we're here with VeloNews European Correspondent. One more time. Hi, this is Jason Sumner with VeloNews Television. Uh, the race is wide open, it, and it almost makes the race, uh, in a certain way, almost more exciting, really. Okay. That's it for now. Thanks for joining us here on VeloNews TV. Oh, that's a bad end. What is my clothes? Well, when you're ready, your lens cap is on. <laughs> right, professional, professional. Professional it's not an Irish cameraman you got, is it? <laughs> He's been hitting the uh, after race bar too much already. UCI uh, president? Yeah, that's what it says down there. <laughs> Who's this guy? Five, four, three, two, one. Hi, I'm Jason Sumner with VeloNews.com Television, and we're here today with Pat McQuaid, the president of the UCI. Pat, first of all, I just want to, you know, your comments on, on what happened yesterday and, and where does cycling go from here? Cycling goes forward from here. Check, check, check. Check, 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 check. Come in a little bit so we're kind of stretching the cord. We're good? Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Hi, this is Jason with Vela News. One more time. One, two, three. Hi, this is Jason Sumner with Vela News Television. We're here today with one, two, three. Hi, this is Jason Sumner with Vela News Television. We're here with Jose de Cower, former national team coach with the Belgian Cycling Federation. Put them on your forehead. Just, it's always nice to be able to see the eyes. You know, Scooch in just a little we'll bit. Take care of, we'll take care of Steve Blick and, right. and the viewers at the same time. <laughs> We're rolling uh, whenever you're ready. Okay. One, and don't, don't laugh at me. This is not way off for today. So I'm not John Madden. One, two, three. Hi, this is Jason Sumner with Vela News Television. We're here with Chris Horner of the Davida Mon Lodo team. Okay. Uh, Trek Teams liaison is my favorite. Trek Teams liaison. I can say liaison between Trek and Trek. You ready? I'm rolling. Hi, I'm Jason Sumner with Vela News TV, and we're here today with Scott Dobear, the liaison between Trek Bicycles and the Discovery Channel team. One more time. Five, four, three, two, one. Hi, this is Jason Sumner with Vela News TV. One, two, three. Hi, this is Jason Sumner with Vela News Television. We're here today with Scott Dobear. He's the liaison between Trek Bicycles and the Discovery Channel. Scott's going to tell us about Discovery Channel team's TTX Equinox bike. We have here George Hincapie's bike. And Scott, I'm going to turn it over to you. All right. Hi, I'm Jason own. Sumner with Vela News Television. We're here again with Trek Volkswagen. One more time. <laughs> That's my mountain biking mountain roots. World, yeah. One, two, three. Hi, I'm Jason Sumner with Vela News Television. We're here again with Scott Dobear of Trek, Trek Bicycles. Scott's the liaison for the Discovery Team and the bike we have here, the SSL Madone 6.9. A minute or less. A minute or less? <laughs> I'm just giving you, no, I'm just giving you some shit. But here, we got the colonoscopy thing right here. <laughs> All right, five, four, three, two, one. Hi, I'm Jason Sumner with Vela News Television. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Hi, I'm Jason Sumner with Bella News Television. We're here with Smith Optics Man. What do we call you? Greg Randolph. Greg? Wow, well, I know that. The ever like loving chopper. The ever loving chopper. All right, one more time. I don't know. Whatever. Take five. Just, hi, I'm Jason Sumner with Bella News Television. We're here with Greg Randolph with Smith Optics. And Greg, you got some new sunglasses you want to show us. You could ask him what other features I could add, talk about the ecstatic padding yeah, or yeah, if that's yeah. appropriate or we could skip No, no, no. I think I, other features are... Okay. Yeah, so tell people about it. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Five, four, three, two. Well, yeah, as I've still fallen, uh, fall I've fallen too. And uh, I ging not go full back sprint of 300. So, um, Just maybe break me down on the last 500 meters. Um, I was, and maybe uh, talk to uh, give us a little bit. Thanks, appreciate it. I was quite near the front, uh, 500 to go. To me, was, uh, all right. yeah, it's, it's quite near the front with 500 to go. You got audio? All right, five, four, three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, I just heard somebody said at first I hit a camera and then I hit the the, the green uh, PMU uh, hand, uh, and I think that's. The, the hand it was cut my arm. Yeah. yeah. What was the first thing you saw? Just blood shooting out of your arm? No, first I just had pain, but when I passed the finish line, when I saw down, I saw like heaps of blood, mm -hmm. and it was like pumping out quite fast. So like, I got quite scared from the start. Is it Christian Hen? Is that is that the proper yeah. way to say? It? Okay. Andy. Team director. Yeah. 
One of them. Sports. Okay. Uh, Levi. I put literally tiny, tiny. Up. Yeah. Uh, Baby. I'll let you know after the game. Okay. Baby, show no one. Baby. Show no one else. Real quick for Bellini, just talk about how you feel like the race has unfolded so far. Well, it hasn't really unfolded very much, so yeah. it's only one day. Just take it day by day and uh, we'll see. Je vous trouve pas très différent de quelqu'un d'autre. Alors comment ça se fait que vous, vous êtes un sprinter Qu'est-ce qu'il faut, qu qu faut pour être un sprinter I actually don't have a clue what you just asked me because my French isn't that good. Can you ask me in English? Yes, in English. What's what, what's what is different in your body to win every time? Well, I think it's a combination of what's in your body and what's in your head. The, the you mean, do you have line. to be crazy? <laughs> no, you have to be strong, you have to be smart, you have to know what you're doing and be confident. And that's what I am and that's why I win stages in the Tour de France. Who is the stronger on the finish line? Today I was, but tomorrow it could be somebody else. Yesterday was Casper. Tomorrow it could be Boone and the next day it could be Hushoff. <laughs> uh, it, it can be any of the guys here. Thank you very much. Uh, Robbie, you just wrote this. Always is, who's the strongest? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, boys! I just like that, me, me neighbours. <laughs> we fought, oh, we fought, we fought, we fought it, we got it. We... I overlapped my wheel and, and the bike went sideways and I was going down so I jumped into the ditch. And the problem was the ditch was about that much lower than the road. <laughs> Brian, you ready to renew our? Yep, and, uh, just maintain like 12 inches between. Okay. So I'm going to scream to the mic. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. John Mark, and you are uh, head mechanic? Yes. Okay. 5, 4, 3, 2. Hi, I'm Jason Sumner with Velo News TV. I'm here with Jean Marc, the head mechanic for the Quick Step Inner. One more time. Inner energetic. Energetic. Be guy, and then uh, we'll toss to you. Say the word, Bri. You're on. Okay. Hi, we're here with CSC. I don't know. <laughs> Amateur. In, the, in every way. Like our plan was for me to bring him into the position at the bottom of the climb, and I just kind of thought he was on my wheel, and uh, I thought I had the whole peloton on my wheel, you know. Chris, tough time you want to talk to. Nah, it's dislocated. I gotta go. Okay. Hey, man, get better. As soon as I find my car. <laughs> to go out. One day or another, it all comes out. So they have to fight again and they have to check and they have to check more. And uh, yes, I believe. But is it realistic to think that UCI can keep track of, you know, I don't know, 600 riders and know where they are at all times? Of course, it's realistic. We're 600 riders, but we are talking about big riders, you know? We are talking about, about how many rides in each team. We are talking about two, three riders who are big, big names. It cannot be that problem. Those guys, we, we have to make a list, a list of the, where, are, where do they stay every day, every day, every day of the year. The best thing they can do is do out of competition controls. Do like just a minute on camera for bonus. Um, I think I need to sign for yeah? otherwise. I think I need to sign in so yeah. okay. they can get a penalty. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, yeah. Hi, it's Jason Sumner with Vela News TV, and we're back here with Chris Horner at the start of Stage Four in Beauvais. And uh, Chris, I'm gonna start over. Is it Stage Four? Stage Fuck. Five, it's I think. It's five. It? It's five. <laughs> I knew as soon as I stood up. One, two, three. Hi, we're back at the Tour de France for the first installment of What Do You Do? We're gonna talk to people around 
involved with the tour and find out what a day in the life for them is like. First off is one more time. Bonjour les amis, bonjour. You ready? Yep. Hi, we're back at the Tour de France for the first installment of What Do You Do? We're talking to people who are involved with the race and finding out what a day in the life is like for them. And today we're here with world-renowned cycling photographer Graham Watson. And Graham, what do you do at the Tour de France? I take photographs. Yeah. Okay. Hi, we're back with the... Hi, we're... You ready? Yep. Good time, Lincoln. Right. We're rolling. Okay. Hi, and welcome back to the Tour de France. We're here with the... <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to the Tour de France. We're here for... One more time, sorry. Veronica <laughs> That's I'm all worried about that. I can't even get the easy part out. Hi, and welcome back to the Tour de France for another... St in st one, two, three. Luke? They, let's go do one in English. In English? In English? Yeah, go. Is it uh, yeah. uh, two Grand Tours, two yellow jerseys? Um, quite a year. The other was not yellow one. The other was a pink jersey. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Two Grand Tours, two leaders jerseys, quite a year. Due Grand Giri, due Malia de Leader, in Cambellano. Hi we're, hi, we're here with Dr. Brent K, personal physician of Floyd Landis, and we just got the pretty shocking news about Floyd's condition. Tell me the names of your guinea pigs again. Sorry? Your names of your guinea pigs again? I'm just kidding. Uh, ah, the, the, the guinea pigs, yeah, I just didn't get a problem. Oh, man. I, I didn't know anything, you know. I just don't follow all his rumors and stories. So I was like totally like, what the fuck is that? Uh, no, you cannot write this again. Uh, uh, it already caused enough trouble. Okay. Um, just real simple. Is it Jens? Jens Vogt? Jens. Jens, Jens Vogt. Vogt. Jens, Jens Vogt. Vogt. Okay. Hi, we're here with Jens Vogt of the CSC team. Hi, we're back at the Tour de France for another installment of What Do You Do? And today we're done. <coughs> Hi, we're back at the Tour de France for another installment of What Do You Do? And today we're pleased to be joined with, by, joined with, by, whatever. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> Hi, we're back at the Tour de France with... Again? Three, two, one. All right. We're All right. Hi, we're back at the... <laughs> That's a good fucking start. <laughs> Hi, we're back here with Chris Horner at the start of stage 12 in, where the hell am I, Luchon. <laughs> How disappointing was it for you yesterday yeah, when you really expected to be with the best on this tour? Yeah. What was going through your head yesterday when you realized? Yeah, yesterday was maybe one of the toughest days of my career just because I had a lot of hope and for myself to do well. And Michael. Once I saw that it was, that wasn't the case, it was it was a really, really tough day for me. Was it okay? Yeah. All right. Thanks, PJ. You've got Alp Duez in your back pocket. Are you hooked now or any other climbs you want to do? Hell yeah, man. It's just the beginning. It's just All the right. beginning. Cool. Yeah. Enjoy. All right. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, brother. All right. We are rolling. Okay. Hi, and welcome back to another installment of the Chris Horner Diary. We're, we're blah. Yeah, I'm too blinded here. Can we can't turn just uh, Can we just go in the yeah, shadow? Let's just do this. Let's go in the shade. Yeah, there we go. Second day in a row, you guys have really stamped your impression on this race. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't, I'm sorry, I just uh, I just finished. I, I have no clue what's the situation. Your teammate Carlos Astor basically went right through the race. Yeah. He's, uh, you know, right behind uh, Prairio now and uh, puts you guys in a real strong position going into the time trial with him. Oh, sure. I mean, uh, we believe, uh, I, I always said uh, we're going to believe in Carlos until the end and uh, Today uh, he showed uh, that he was right. Maybe just finish that thought. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever seen a rider? I mean, riders blow all the time, but what happened to Landis today has, has got to be just absolutely stunning. Hey, uh, that, that's that's just uh, 
it's a Tour de France. I mean, you, can, you cannot win it in one day, but you cannot lose it in one day. And uh, uh, he's not. He, he maybe made, made some mistakes. He didn't need enough, and who knows? I mean, uh, that's the race, and he blew. So it was good for us. Right here. He's right here. Everyone, uh, the beginning of the day, you were the guy who got tipped by a lot of people, and at the end, you did it. I, it's just surprising that it, you were able to pull it off. Um, no, I don't. I don't like see the Floyd Land explosion. It's incredible. Yesterday, Floyd is the the, the, the strong rider, the, the, the incredible, and today. It's, it's very very bad day for for you. It's I don't happy. Hey, I just shot him. Here, go, 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 run, get it. Yeah, I really had to go on the descent and I was a bit in no man's land, it's a bit of a hassle, you can't see the cars in front so you don't know where the road goes, but they, they can so they can go a bit faster and you know, I don't want to throw away my tour and go off the side of the side of the, uh, side of the road. Landis was absolutely incredible. Get those wires out of my handlebars please. Hi, we're with Robbie Hunter of uh, Phonak here at this... True pro. Hi, we're with Robbie Hunter of Team Phonak here at the start of uh, Stage 18 in Morzine. What, what do you call your job? What do you? What is your job? Uh, the, uh, we carry the barriers. I don't know the name in okay. English. Okay. The barriers. No, that's yeah. perfect. Okay. Because okay. 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 everybody uh, says everybody it's different. Team director, quick step energetic. Good. Hi, we're back at the Tour de France with quick step. Quick. One more time here. <laughs> Can you say one or two words in French, please? <laughs> one or two words in French. Ah, uh, merci beaucoup. <laughs> That's all? Ah, <laughs> uh, ca café and beer. <laughs> That's how I get by in France. <laughs>